So the customer is calling you, but I promise you, most call centers are blind. They see nothing except the script they're supposed to talk to the customer about. So I say, I'm seeing on your own website 20% different price than that. I say, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I can't see that price. Or, well, I have got 18 of your competitors' websites open right now because I have my portable, my iPad, my, my iPhone, my BlackBerry. Uh, I, I'm on watching TV. I'm texting my friends. I'm on Twitter. And all of this information is coming, and I'm talking to you, and all you can see is the script you have to read. Put your hands up if you get really annoyed when you get through to... Um, let's say the electricity company, and they have stolen your money three times this month, okay? And you get through to the electricity company, and it says, press one for accounts. Press two for more accounts. Press three for sales. Press four if you have no idea what to press. <laughs> Put your hands up if you find that makes you really angry. Put your hands up if you think that people who install such systems should be put in prison and sent to Siberia. <laughs> so we under... Oh, okay, now. I'm sorry to say this. You know what's coming next. <laughs> uh, put your hands up if your company has such a system. Come on! <laughs> I know you all do. What happened? What happened was you forgot what it feels like to be a customer. We spent too much time feeling what it's like to be a manager. I'm just saying, let's take off the glasses of being a manager, remember what the glasses are like to be a customer, and try to imagine how it feels. Because now we've learned that the fastest way to make your customer annoyed is to make them wait for more than five seconds for anything. 